Hello, 大家好，欢迎回到外媒看中国。我是安博然。Hey, you guys, welcome back to Reports on China. I'm Andy. Today we're going to talk about a France 24 report on my debunking video. I'm also going to share some new updates about the situation in Shanghai, and we're going to watch a really important video at one of Shanghai's hospitals on New Year's Eve dealing with the COVID influx. Let's get reporting. Hey, you guys! Welcome back. So, as you can see, I'm in a new setting at the moment. I am outside of China for the first time in about three years,、uh, so that is why you're having the new background here. So, today, though, I wanted to quickly talk about a France 24 report、uh, on my video debunking、uh, the situation with the、uh, fever clinics here in Shanghai. So, I'll bring up that report、uh, just now.、Uh, and I don't read French, so I'm not sure、um, completely what they're saying here. But apparently, they're debunking. My video at the fever clinics and saying, well, the video was filmed at fever clinics, not at big hospitals, which is where the influx is today. Now that is actually true. I filmed the fever clinic video on the twentieth of December、uh, before the the wave really hit、uh, Shanghai. So at that time, I was seeing how the fever clinics were looking. They were all empty. They still are today. People are still not going to、uh, fever clinics. Uh, in Shanghai, which is a shame, especially people who don't have serious conditions, and that's why the Shanghai government has updated their information regarding COVID, and、uh, they're trying to tell people when they should go to a hospital and when they should stay away, because there is an influx.、Uh, but yeah, that is the、uh, French report. But I'm going to play you guys a bit of a video now, really quickly,、uh, from that France 24 report in English. So let's check that out, and I'll see you back very shortly. Yes, Tom. In the last few days, a report by journalist Andy Borum for the Shanghai Daily has been circulating quite heavily online. Now, the Shanghai Daily is one of Chinese state media's、uh, only English language media outlets, and segments of this report have been spread by several anti-vax accounts, as well as accounts that have been flagged for sharing misinformation. So, let's take a little look at that. So, if we look at this,、uh, one of one of the tweets that I found here, this has over three hundred and seventy-seven thousand views, as well as thousands of retweets and quotes and likes. The account name is Rage Against the Vaccine, which does give us kind of an idea of the rhetoric of this account.、Um, and this person has attached the report by the journalist Andy Borum and says that this guy's in Shanghai and says that there are no Chinese in line in the emergency rooms, no people dying on the streets or in crowded hospitals. But they want us to believe the lie in the West that COVID is starting again. So very strong words there, criticising、uh, the Western media's reporting of coronavirus in China. If we take a look at another.、Uh, Internet user. This person has been flagged、uh, previously for、uh, misinformation online, according to their accounts. Again, over two hundred thousand views,、uh, and similarly、uh, with the tweets and the likes. And they also have said that there are no queues in the emergency room, according to Andy Borum's report. There are no people dying in the streets, but we are shown tons of disaster images of China online. So probably not a great report right there. The video was in English. It's not their main report, obviously. Wasn't quite sure what she was trying to get at. It was a bit long-winded, but I think she was saying that basically、uh, some、uh, anti-vax groups, popular anti-vax groups on Twitter, had been sharing my video to try to argue that、uh, Shanghai was just fine. Remember, the video was shot on the twentieth of December, so at that stage、uh, we hadn't had the huge wave yet, which has happened now. And I'm going to show you guys a video inside, an exclusive video inside one of Shanghai's、uh, hospitals, which was filmed by my colleagues、uh, in Shanghai Daily. But yeah, the video we were talking about. About the, that France 24 we're talking about is this video you can see on the screen now. If you want, check it out on my、uh, YouTube page.、Um, but now I want to quickly switch across to Shine, which is the website for Shanghai Daily, because、uh, there are some inf- interesting updates, important updates regarding the、uh, COVID conditions, COVID symptoms,、uh, and when you should head to the hospital. Now this is important. So Shanghai defines COVID 19 serious or critical cases. Now, as I was saying, people are not going to the two thousand five hundred community fever clinics in Shanghai, which is what the government would like them to visit. Where the government would like them to go if they have mild symptoms, and don't clog up the city level hospitals, which is for serious cases. So, here is the classification. I don't know if you guys can see it very clearly, but it says mild and normal types、uh, suffering from fever, fatigue, dry cough, sore throat, discomfort, and other symptoms, but. No breathing difficulties or decreased oxygen saturation. Now, 
this is how most people are with these mild and normal conditions uh, for COVID-19. So you do not need to go to a hospital, especially if you just have a fever. Now, Chinese people seem to be quite against fevers. Uh, they think it's more serious than it is. Actually, a fever is quite healthy. It just goes to show your body is really working, unless it goes for a long time and it's mixed with other uh, serious conditions. But if you just have these conditions here, please, if you're in Shanghai or in anywhere else in China, stay away from the main hospitals. Um, there's severe types here, which includes shortness of breath, respiratory rate of over 30 times per minute, oxygen saturation of less than 93% when inhaling, and pulmonary image, imaging showing infections have progressed significantly over 50% within 24 to 48 hours. That is considered uh, to be severe type. Uh, if it's children, it's an extremely high fever or persistent high fever for more than three days. Shortness of breath, oxygen saturation lower than 93%, drowsiness and convulsions. Then we have critical here, uh, which is patients suffering from any of the following. Respiratory failure uh, and requires mechanical ventilation. Obviously, that's critical. You need to go to a main hospital. Recurring shocks or complications with other organ failures requiring ICU. You can head to the hospital. And the list goes on here, you guys. This is uh, for people with serious conditions that need to go to hospitals. But as I say, most people do not. So it's important to keep up to date with, um, this is from the Shanghai government, I assume it's going to be quite similar around China. So again, I'll read the mild or normal conditions uh, to see if you're suffering from these and to urge you to please stay away from the main hospitals. That is suffering from fever, fatigue, dry cough, sore throat, discomfort and other symptoms, but no breathing difficulties or decreased oxygen saturation. If these are the symptoms you're suffering, please stay away from the main hospitals. Or if you really want to head somewhere and get it checked out, head to one of those 2,500 fever clinics across Shanghai. The same with my video from the 20th, which is still accurate. Those fever clinics are largely empty because people are still going to the main hospitals. Don't do that. And I'm going to show you why. The video I'm about to play for you is filmed by my colleagues at Shanghai Daily. They stayed overnight at one of Shanghai's main hospitals on New Year's Eve. You can see the situation there is not looking good. So let's check out the video first and then we'll come back for a final word.这一波高峰人蛮多的急诊复发来就诊每天都一千七八左右然后都需要氧气监护但忘记就是说我一直全部已经塞满了我们反正所有的人都在岗因为阳过的人都阳康了嘛我们基本上都快阳完了应该然后大家都基本上活在上班了还有人就是说发烧了但是当天轮到他他
，都排好队，不要乱。跟急诊预检差不多，只用我们这边是专门就是车的。啊，呃，包括人都有掉，然后该看望车的看望车，看看内科的看护车。看看有些自己买了的，每天基本上都不带停的，像我今天周末值班的话，白天就是要收治病人，然后晚上的话还要负责下面的一些就是抢救室的一些救治啊、会诊啊。夜班的时候，可能下面医生压力也特别大，有时候下去帮忙的。现在困难的话，主要还是那个病人的病情比较重，然后医疗资源比较紧张嘛。目前医院其实也派了很多人来支援嘛。支援的话，其实现在相对来说的话，还是可以够还是不够的，但总归比之前确实要相对充裕一些。这个人是一个新诊的病人，然后呃突然发生了一个呼吸心脏骤停，然后我们医生，然后包括我们的护士，然后立即给予患者的一个心外按压，然后这个人就是心外按压，然后心跳恢复恢复过来了。后来又发生一个室颤，我们给予了一个呃电除颤。然后后面就这个人是立即收到一个导管室，是这样子的。然后这个流程也是比较紧急的。其实上我们现在已经对新冠这个说，不管是阳的还是不阳的，我们已经不管了。我们主要就是在对病的一个症状来进行一个治疗。现在反正来的话，基本上都是一个中老年人，然后伴基础疾病比较多的一个病人。然后还有一个就是来的都是需要一个吸氧的，都是低氧饱和，所以说现在。养人这个情况是需求量是特别大的，我们养人的话已经不够了，然后现在就是利用他们的氧气袋，然后进行临时的一个呃补氧的情补氧，给他临时吸一个氧气。反正急诊一年三百六十五天就是这样子，二十四小时都不歇业的。其实对我们来说，节假日对我们已经没有什么没有什么差别了。二零二二年能够过去的话，其实，呃，还是挺盼望二零二三年的，能够新的一年有新的开始吧。来的也是病人，其实我们也，我们的包括我们的医生护士也都是带病上岗的，大家相互理解，相互尊重。嗯So as you can see, the situation in Shanghai is critical. There are a lot of people with underlying conditions and with severe、uh, symptoms from COVID-19 or brought about from COVID-19 who need to head to the hospitals, literally to save their lives.、Uh, and that is often times、uh, people that are older,、uh, over sixty, over eighty, and they really need、uh, urgent care in the hospitals. Which is why the government and me myself. I'm urging you that if you have mild conditions, please, please, please stay away from those main hospitals. They're very much、uh, needed. But apparently, the situation is now getting under control in Shanghai.、Uh, as you saw in the video, some extra resources were sent in.、Uh, people are still working sick. They have to. There's not enough staff. And if you can remember, in China, around 25,000 people die every day anyway. So if you add, add on top of that the fact that it is winter, it's the cold time. So there's going to be more people on top of that, and then、uh, COVID. Cases and significant and serious COVID cases presenting. So, it is、um, critical at the moment that, as I said before, if you have those mild symptoms, please stay away from the hospitals. Anyway, you guys,、uh, a serious video there,、uh, not nice to look at, but that is the situation、uh, here in Shanghai at the moment, and of course over a lot of China. So, keep、uh, people in China in your mind. Hopefully, we'll get past this very soon. But anyway, you guys, that is all for today. As always, I hope to know what you guys think. Let me know down below and hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.